And welcome back. Well, Harvard Business Review did a recent study about belonging at work. Four out of 10 people say they feel isolated at work. And sadly, this is why many of them do not want to be back in the office. Right. Beth Ridley is a leadership expert and workplace culture consultant. She joins us with why belonging at work matters so much. She also shares one, I think, mm -hmm. unexpected benefit of that. Great to Good see, to see you, see Beth. You. Hi. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you. It seems weird, I think, in a way to, to think about belonging at work. Yeah. Because if you've been hired, it's sort of like being admitted to the club. Sort of. But a lot of people don't feel like mm -hmm. they belong. They don't. And, you know, it's one of those things that you don't really talk about. Like, do you belong at work? But it's like you know it when you feel it. You, you know when it's there, but you also know when it's not there. Mm -hmm. And I think when a lot of people were working at home because of the pandemic, they realized, I actually don't really like going into work. I don't feel it as connected. Yeah. And now they're thinking, I don't really want to go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what does it look like to belong at work? Yeah. Okay. So I think there's four C's to belonging. So the okay. first one is a sense of comfort. Like you actually feel comfortable being yourself mm -hmm. at work. You don't have to work extra hard to fit in, which is exhausting. It is for sure. You also feel a sense of connection, connection. to your colleagues. You yeah. genuinely like them and they like you. You also feel a sense of contribution. So everyone wants to feel like they matter, like your experience and your ideas like factor into decision making. Mm -hmm. And there also has to be commitment. And that's the fourth C from leaders, right? So none of this works if leaders, you know, don't think about their people and treat people like robots and not as humans who yeah. want to belong. Yeah, the commitment part of it is an interesting component to that. One of the things that I think maybe will, will make sense to people but is a bit surprising is that you get much greater on the job effort, but your performance of employees is much higher if they feel like they belong. They're probably happier. They're right? happier and also you don't feel afraid of speaking up, giving your actual thoughts because of fear of standing out. And so how many times, you know, does someone just say something because that's what their boss wants to hear? You're not getting original ideas. You're not getting what people really believe and tapping into their unique life experience because they're just worried about standing out and they're just trying too hard to fit in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think these are great points. So why does a, a workplace culture of belonging have so many benefits? And what are maybe one of these unexpected ones that we can find are, are interesting for us? I mean, I think the biggest result is just better outcomes, bigger performance. Performance. Um, people are again are coming up with better ideas. They're more engaged. They're willing. You're to speak loyal. Up. They're mm -hmm. loyal. At that point, yeah. And when you have more ideas from people, you make more thoughtful decisions. More thoughtful decisions leads to better outcomes. And then people feel that sense of you know I'm part of our success, and that helps with you know, retention and recruiting too. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about how leaders can foster a greater sense of belonging. But first, do you have any thoughts about why people don't feel like they belong? What, what, what's the root cause of that? Because so much of the conversation lately is about diversity, inclusion. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a new push, I think, and needed in yep. the workplace. But why aren't people feeling like they belong? I do think we are talking about it more because of diversity and inclusion and also mental well-being. Mm -hmm. So that sense of belonging can add distress and anxiety. So I do think we're making progress, but the biggest barrier is that we are just so busy. You know, you just get to work, you heads down, do the work, rush from meeting to meeting, and you forget about the people, right? Mm -hmm. You're just focusing too much on the work, not enough on the people. I think that's sort of the biggest. We problem. focus too much on the people, <laughs> not enough on work. But then look at how much fun you're having, right? Well, and, and, and your excitement spills over to a great show. So yeah. you guys are like the model of you know, how to do it right. No, we're not. I should interview you because okay. you're doing something really good. But it's true, the company is the people. Yes. And without yeah. the people, you don't have the company. So and if I you think, focus too much on the company, you're yes. looking in the wrong place for that inclusion. That's exactly, and, 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 and we forget about that, right? Mm -hmm. And we spend so much money hiring, training, yes. hoping we keep people, but the solutions to belonging are so simple and, and, and expensive. See, I love it. Okay, so talk about some of the things that leaders can do. If we've got you know somebody who owns a business or is a manager or just wants to make their team better in general, what are some things they can do to foster this? Okay, some of my favorite ideas. Super simple, you just gotta keep them in mind and do it consistently. So um, employees spend most of their workday in meetings. So I like to say, how can you foster belonging in meetings? You sort of like get the biggest bang for your buck. And so one of the simplest things is when the meeting starts, greet people by their name, yep. whether it's in person or virtual. When you hear your name, it's so unique and personal to you. It's you like feel the like the sweetest oh, sound in the world, they like say to someone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're like, oh, 
they know I'm here. They care yeah. about me. So that's one small thing. Yeah, and that's easy to do. Like mm -hmm. you said, in meetings, right, you got everybody together. And so reaching out, saying somebody's name means something to you. But if you're my coworker mm -hmm. and you hear me say, hi, Beth, yeah. how are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that that you're going to feel like you belong. I want to come back on your show. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so what about the connection part? Because you say use and statements. Yeah, so a lot of times in meetings, people sort of get into this habit of like, whatever I say, it's to convince people to my side of the point. And you sort of get like an either or black or white conversation, which doesn't feel connected. You feel sort of alienated, like people like sticking to their side. So if you use the simple word and, it helps to connect ideas in the meeting. Mm -hmm. So if you said something like, you know, if you said something in a meeting, I said, oh, interesting point, Molly, but, you yeah. know, it's kind of <laughs> like- you just negated it all. You negated it all. <laughs> right, yeah. but if I just said, interesting point, Molly, and you immediately feel like you're included and we're building on ideas. Yeah. I love, love that because as an improv person, that was our biggest rule was yes and. And. Yeah. and it was because it never pushed your partner out of the scene. So it's so much of the exact same stuff. I love everything you said. We ran out of time. But real quickly, how can someone know that they're successfully on the right track? Like in a quick uh, I think the best thing is to ask employees. Ask them in yes. person. How are you feeling? And if, if that's uncomfortable, then do a survey to get that. And feedback. sometimes is there lack of belonging or feeling like that on them to some degree? Because don't we have a responsibility as employees if we're not feeling like we belong to do something about it? Yeah, that, that is true. And that takes courage to speak up and have that conversation. And the more you have conversations one on one with your boss and your colleagues, it makes it more comfortable to, to talk about belonging. Mm -hmm. Such a good topic love today. It. Not yeah. something I've read a lot about, but I love it. It, it piggybacks nicely on diversity and inclusion yeah. and those things that we've started talking about in the workplace so much more. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Appreciate Beth. it, Beth. To rewatch this segment or to send it to one of your coworkers or maybe your boss, <laughs> you need to go to themorningblend.com.